What's up Silver Screen Dudes, it is Tuesday which means it's time for another episode of the Top 5 Show. And for this week guys, the world's gone Harry Potter crazy again, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them is getting rave reviews, it's just about to break 100 million at the time of this video filming, it's doing great, the world loves it, the world loves Harry Potter, and we're now going to count down the top 5 Harry Potter villains from the movies. This new movie, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, brings in a villain that we've all heard about throughout the movies and the books, Gellert Grindelwald, and we now finally get to see him. Now obviously with this, with this top 5, I'm going to be talking about all the villains that have come into contact with Harry throughout mainly the movies, but I am going to draw some information from the books which may not have been given an appropriate amount of screen time. Disclaimer, I am not putting Lord Voldemort in this list because obviously he'd be number one. After tonight, no one will ever again question my powers. No duh. So with that said, we're going to now count down the top five Harry Potter villains, excluding he who shall not be named. Our first entry is a nasty one, Fenrir Greyback the semi-death eater werewolf who is obsessed with turning as many people as possible into werewolves. What makes him especially nasty is that he focused on children, attempting to take over the world one day with a little mini werewolf army. I will also a werewolf named Greyback. I'll free pay the favour one day. Even the Death Eaters didn't like this guy, mostly because of his mixed blood background and also because of his sexual perversions and he affected the lives of a lot of the main characters in books including Remus Lupin, Bill Weasley and Lavender Brown. Lucius Malfoy, we meet at last. If there was ever a predictable villain, it was this one, but God, what an effective villain. And he took it to a whole other level in the Chamber of Secrets when he slipped poor Ginny Weasley Tom Riddle's diary, thereby entrapping her all in an effort to ruin Arthur Weasley's career. All those extra raids. I do hope they're paying you overtime. You're judging by the state of this. I'd say it not. And when the Dark Lord showed his ugly face again, Lucius was no stranger to threatening with death the lives of Harry and all his friends during the battle for the Ministry of Magic. Give me the prophecy now, or watch your friends die. And not only was he constantly cowering at Voldemort's side, but when he realised the second wizarding war was lost, he snuck away like a little snake. You sold James and Lily to Voldemort, didn't you? I didn't mean to! This one may not be as obvious because he's not as intimidating as the other villains on this list, but he is the catalyst for all the wrongdoings and happenings in this film when he betrayed his friends Lily and James Potter's whereabouts to the Dark Lord himself. And we all know how that ended. And of course he takes it further because he fakes his own death and puts the whole blame on Sirius Black, causing one of the best characters in the entire series to be imprisoned in Azkaban. So I've realised, Peter, that if Voldemort didn't kill you, then we would. And to put the cherry on the Sunday, let's not forget that he played a huge role in bringing Voldemort back into physical form in the Goblet of Fire. And it's fitting that his animagus form is a rat because his cowardice is reprehensible and that only adds to this character. I saw him, I thought- Detention, Mr. Potter! I don't think I can ever remember reading a book and hating a character as much as Dolores Jane Umbridge. I actually think in this case, the movies didn't do her enough justice compared to the book because you know, deep down, you deserve to be punished. Corrupt, brutal and manipulative all rolled into one. These are characteristics you really don't want from anyone in a position of power. She's placed in Hogwarts as a spy for the Minister of Magic. She tortures Harry brutally and sneakily, which makes you hate her even more. And she even goes as far as to have Albus Dumbledore removed. She gotta go. Later in the series, she's in charge of persecuting tons of muggle-born witches just because of their blood. As if this character wasn't bad enough, she then does the Muggle Registration Act. I mean, she is horrible. Pretty, pretty, baby, hot. One of the most loyal servants to Lord Voldemort, one of the quickest to dish out torture and death. She was also one of the nastiest characters in the entire series, books and film. You filthy half blood! It's not right, it's just a curious land, aren't you? She played a huge role in torturing Neville Longbottom's relatives and even remained loyal to Voldemort, unlike other Death Eaters, while she was locked in Azkaban. Ah, 
And the moment she escapes from the prison, she picks up right where she left off, starting a war at the Ministry of Magic in the Order of the Phoenix, and the bitch killed Sirius Black. Oh yeah, yeah, and let's not forget the fact that she destroyed Hagrid and the Weasleys' homes, she tortured Ron and Hermione, and she also killed Dobby. Bitch has got to go. How did you get it? Take to my vault! Anything. Do you agree with my list? Obviously, this doesn't include Voldemort for reasons already mentioned. He was an obvious number one, but aside from Voldemort, who do you think is the most vile, horrible villain in the entire Harry Potter series? Book or movie or both? Over to you guys. Leave your thoughts and your comments below. Please give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button, guys. Share this video with any friends, family, and movie fans that you may have. And until next time, from the Silver Screen Dudes, see ya.